<laughs> While I steal everyone's viewers, yes. <laughs> Salmon upstream. Hey, thank you for the follow. Not on the mat. No. No. You're a good boy. Just come over here and lay down and relax. Let's go. All right. You'll join in sometime? Nice. Well, thank you. Um, Sam, and I'm on Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And we do mindfulness, yoga, and we end with a quick meditation. So if you're looking to join in in the future, now you know. Hey, Lumpy. All right, we're doing it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to your work, Adrian. I'm Adrian, and this is Becky. And today we have a sweet practice that's going to help you reunite with your breath. So hop into something comfy, and let's get started. Lay down, not on the mat. Yoga time for you, Lumpy, yay! All right, my friends, let's begin today's practice lying on our backs. You can lay a blanket out if you want to today, get nice and cozy, because we're gonna stay nice and low to the ground, focusing on the power of thy breath. Come on down, when you get there, we're gonna begin in this constructive resting posture by bringing the feet as wide as your mat, nice and wide, and then allowing the knees to fall in so they rest together. Mm. This nice is and what I consider here. the, the mm -hmm. gynecologist so the pose. Together and bring your hands to your belly. When you're at the box doctor and you're wearing that like paper towel they give you. you. Where you can feel comfortable and relaxed. Once you get settled in here, no, tuck your on, chin I love you, to create slight length in the back of the neck and then close your eyes, baby. Relax, lay down. Thank you for selecting this video and thank you for taking some time out of your day to reunite with your breath. I believe in the power of reuniting with the breath, and I hope this little ditty here today serves you. So with the hands on the belly, the eyelids closed and heavy, start to notice the parts of your body that are touching the earth. And as you bring your attention or your awareness to those parts, really notice the pressure, the connection that you feel, the feet, the elbows, the muscles in the back, the skull. Mm. Kind of grounding down in this moment. <laughs> And then begin to bring your attention to the little water breath. And as we secure the body in stillness, let the gross body, the big picture of the body, remain heavy and still and see if you can allow your breath start to move your subtle body. And if you're like, cool, got it, great. And if you're like, what does that mean? Just explore what that could mean for you. You don't always have to know what exactly you're doing. There's a little bit of a tendency on the mat with asana and with breath to want to get it right. Pixel, Pixie, what's so, up? It's my pleasure to remind you that it's not about getting it right, it's about exploring. Getting curious. Bringing more consciousness. Keep that. And to your life. Hopefully by now you I told you no. to take a couple. No. No, you lay down. Inhalations. Lay down. 
Not on me. Catching the wave no. of the breath. Even if it's Goal like once. Big full inhale in. Long exhale out. He's probably going to be whining this whole time, friends. And then notice how a big, full, conscious breath makes you feel. And then with the eyes closed and body nice and heavy here, just start to lift the corners of the mouth slightly and send some love out into the world and uh, knowing and maybe just understanding, accepting, enjoying, celebrating. <coughs> there are so many people practicing this very practice with you right now. And I think that's cool. So as you are uniting or reuniting with your breath here today, wherever you are in the world, you're also uniting or reuniting with people who are reuniting with their breath or their spirit. All right. Go ahead and open the eyes nice and slow, back the eyelashes open. We're going to walk the feet all the way together now and just take the knees in the opposite direction. So you're going to open the knees out wide. And then this is when the doctor comes in. <laughs> we climb the cobbler's pose as we start to open the hips. Let gravity do a bit of the work. We're changing the shape, so we're going to change the breath. So interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head. You can extend your thumbs to kind of cradle the neck. You'll start to feel a stretch in the groin, the inner thigh, a stretch in the armpit chest, in the shoulder. And then start to use your breath to create more space. So breathe a nice, full, lateral breath into the side bodies here, to the ribs. Here we go. Deepening the breath. You can use your thumbs to gently massage the back of the head if you like. And we're just slowing things down. So it doesn't always have to be about harder, faster, stronger. The breath is the base, the baseline. Take one more deep inhale in here. Breathe into all four sides of the torso. Then as you exhale, you're going to slowly lift the head, lift the heart, lift the shoulders, lift the elbows, and just connect to the muscles of the abdominal wall. But see if you can continue with the deep, conscious breath. Thanks, so thanks, so. thanks for that follow. deep here, keeping the gaze up. Lots of space between the chin and the chest, so we're not doing a full crunch here, but keeping the neck nice and long. Challenging ourselves to breathe deep within this <coughs> contraction of the core. Keeping the skin and the, the face soft and easy, jaw relaxed. Good, then take one more deep breath in here. Then exhale to slowly release. You bring the hands to the outer edges of the legs, close the knees together, and then scoop the knees up towards the chest. Get your low back nice and flush with the mat. It should feel really good. Give yourself a big hug, and now breathe deep into your belly here. Nice, full, conscious breaths. So there's not a lot going on here on purpose so that you can reunite and focus on those deep inhalations and those long exhalations. So basically, you have to bring the breath. Bring the breath. Take one more cycle of breath in and out. And I love this idea of cycle of breath because that's what's going on, right? Constant cycle of breath, right? If you catch yourself holding your breath, eventually you're going to do it again. Otherwise, what happens? Quiet rumbles. You die. So keep <laughs> your breath, that cycle of breath or spirit going. And then let's bring the hands to the backs of the thighs now for a little rock and roll move. You're going to rock up and down the length of your spine. If this is difficult, 
no worries. I love the humility that also comes with uh, yoga practice, especially in at home practice. Yeah, you you let your guard down and, and really allow yourself to be yourself. Normal stream starts at 2 p.m. today, mm -hmm. by the way. Actually, meet all the way up in a nice cross legged seat. You can take a second to move the fleshy part of the buttocks aside. Find length up through the crown of the head. And then just allow your hands to rest wherever they comfortably fall. So on the knees or the thighs, maybe in the lap. Mm. 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 Excellent. Bam deer. And so we have many Haryana videos on the channel. You can check them Bam, out. Bam, welcome. Have, Thank um, you for the a fire, skull shining breath, we have ujjayi breath, we have alternate nostril breathing. So if you want to go a little deeper learning breath techniques, I will post links to those videos in the description down below, belly breath, all of these wonderful pranayama techniques. But today it's about just returning to that relationship, that connection with a big inhale and a long exhale. Mm -hmm. So nice conscious breath. So just come into a quiet seat here. As you feel comfortable, close your eyes again, tuck your chin to lengthen through the back of the neck, and try to find this lateral breath. Come and, and have a great day if you're on really fast to your root cage here, so we can play with the lateral breath. And what you want is to find this expansion of the ribs out as you breathe in, and then a gentle softening as you breathe out. Let's give it a couple tries here on your own. Feeling the ribs expand and lift as you breathe in and soften and gently retract as you breathe out. And then you can keep the hands there if you really like it or allow the hands to rest gently and just keep this nice full expansive inhale going and this long slow exhalation. And then notice where your thoughts go and remember that's all part of the game mind and body working together. So just acknowledge the thoughts and remember to reunite with your breath. Return to the breath. The breath always comes first. Slowly bat the eyelashes open once again. So we're going to end with a super duper duper simple vinyasa. And if this practice inspires you to pick up a more physical practice after this, awesome. That's what we want. But what I really want is to establish or reestablish, reunite us with the importance and the value of having a strong relationship with the breath. I mean, honestly, it has saved my life. So I think I think it's worthy of our time. It's not always about chaturangas, right? Or mm -hmm. So ending with a super simple vinyasa, we're gonna bring the fingertips to the sides. Nice you're gonna pull the pinkies back just a bit so you can open up through the chest, the heart space, and really uncrumple through the torso, right? Finding that length in the spine. On the inhale, you're gonna dial the thumbs back, pinkies forward, and slowly bring the palms all the way up, wrists over the shoulders. On the exhale, you're gonna take the palms, excuse me, thumbs forward, pinkies back, and press the palms down into the, towards the earth, fingertips kiss the ground. Mm, okay. So the thing is, you want your full inhale to fuel this gesture, and you want your full exhale to fuel this gesture. And the kind of trick or challenge, loving challenge today is, I only want you to reach the fingertips up as high as your breath goes. So you can really kind of wire, oh, hush, wire your brain come to here. unite with breath. So for example, just a little demo. Oh, cut it in out. In case you're like, yeah, I got this, dude, super easy. Just lay down. Pay attention. 
for example, the inhale down into my belly initiates the sound of going back. And I'm only going to inhale or reach my fingertips up as far as my inhale goes. So if I inhale to my max capacity and my hands are here, this is where I'm stopping, baby. Okay, same thing on the way down. Exhale, I'm gonna try to use that breath out to empty, 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 all the way down. And if this is where I land, not here, I'm gonna stop here. So I'm gonna try to be really true to the breath, marry the breath to the movement, and marry the movement to the breath. Virtual high five. Okay, here we go. Pull the pinkies back, lift your heart. Let's see what happens. Inhale, open the thumbs, reach it up high. Only go as far as your inhale, and then when that breath stops, you've hit the max capacity. He always the does shadow. Down and in, pinkies out, palms pressed down, and you use your exhale to float the fingertips down. Only go as far as your breath goes, empty, 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 and then inhale. So keep it going. I'm not gonna cue you so that you can really practice being true to your breath. If you don't make it that high on the inhale or make it all the way down on the exhale, that's okay, that's part of this experience, part of this um, learning process, and it's definitely something I want you to experience. So I thrust. I'm gonna do my own practice here, and I'll let you do yours. Good morning. And we'll see what we discover. Wherever you are, keep it going. Don't stop for these last couple rounds, the last couple cycles of breath. You might, if you're in a good place, integrate the neck or the nose. And you can think about your nose just kind of traveling in line with your fingertips, inhaling, sending the gaze up, and then exhaling, gently sending the gaze down. Don't give up, do one more cycle wherever you are. Now wherever you are, let's all together as one, inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up. This time let the palms come all the way together. Namaste, and then exhale, hands slowly melt down to your heart space. Take a second to relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, and just notice how you feel, and, and allow whatever discoveries you made to just settle in here. Reuniting with the breath. Gently close your eyes, bow your head to your heart. Remember, the breath is always there for you. And so am I. Mm. Love you guys. Thanks for sharing your time and energy with me and the Yoga with Adrian community. Let us know how this went for you down below, in particular this that was section. was a nice easy one today. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Namaste. Mm. Beautiful.
that's enough. Um, who was able to participate in that? It was nice that it wasn't anything too crazy. I think some of you could have done that even without a yoga mat. I mean, I know some of you could have done it even without a yoga mat. <laughs> when he winded it off. Yeah. This little pup, I swear. When he's like this, it really drives me crazy because there's no winning with him. The only way for him to be happy right now is if I were to go sit on the couch and he could lay next to me. Then he'll shut up, he'll go right to sleep. But this is probably gonna continue. So when we do our meditation today, you'll have the fun added challenge of ignoring his whines. Cause I imagine as soon as I start settling into my meditation, he's gonna start up again. You joined in halfway through, nice. I like it, it was nice and simple. I love anytime we can connect to our breath, like our breath is so powerful. Hey dude. Hey. Hey. Hey you. Excuse me, sir. Could you just not? Like, have you thought of that? Have you considered not doing that? Thank you. Thank you, smoosh. You're very smooshy. Ready to take on the day now. That's what I like to hear. You like this little head rub, huh? You little smooshy. You little smooshy with your little forehead rolls. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. What did he do? Which one? That guy? He's rumbling at something. I don't know, he sees a squirrel or a human or someone daring to exist out in his world. Where is his sweater? Hmm. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see if I can find Capone's sweater. Ugh. Relax, Capone. That's not for you either. Hmm. All right, Enzo, go to your spot. Enzo, go to your spot. What if, what if it is for him, but it's not. Spot. Not for you. Go to your spot. No. I said no. Thank you. Now go to your spot. Come here, pup. Hey, I said spot. Spot. That's not your spot. That's not even close. Well, it is close, but it's not. <sighs> Give me a pup. What are you doing? Want to smell it? Yeah, it's your brother's sweater. We, we know this now. No, it's not for you to chew, hun. 
You're such a silly pup. No. It's not for you. And then promptly farted, of course. The dogs woke you up three times? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, Capone's eating now, so that's good. Don't drop your kabibbles on my mat. If you two are puppy rumbling, I'm gonna move my mat. Do you want this, Capone? Do you wanna put this on? No, ha! Enzo, go to your spot. Now, Enzo, spot. You little dummy, go to your spot. Now, drop it. Go to your spot, now. Spot. Spot. Right now, sit down. Sit. Down. Down. Stay. Oi, fucking vey. Stay. All right. Are you ready for this? We gotta lift your leggy. Ready? There you go. Good job. All right, where's this little hole now? We gotta find the other spot. All right. Are you ready? We're gonna lift your leggy again. This is a tough one. There we go. There you go. There you go. Are you happy now? Now you can go rumble your brother if you really want to. It is a good don't get doggo's tail. genuinely gets very excited over clothes. I wish I knew what happened to his other sweater though, because that one fits him really nice. Get him. Fuck him up, Capone. Fuck him up. Eat his little face off. Ow! <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. does. It shakes the whole fucking house, man. He a, he a big boy, and when he drops, he drops hard. You don't think he learned shit? I don't know, man. I think he done, done been taught. Yeah, you tell him, dude. Alright, we're just gonna try and sit in a way that I'm not outlined by that little drape. Did you tell him? <laughs> Is he looking into your souls right now? <laughs> Did you tell them? 
How you beat up your brother? Did you tell them? Enzo, get out of your butthole, bro. Get him. Get him. You're doing it. Yay. Yay. Trying to like encourage them to the max so that Capone hopefully wears himself out and then lays down in time for meditation. <laughs> You're a good boy. I'm proud of you. My thick pupper. He loves a good booty snack. What are we looking at out there? That hop was adorable. <laughs> oh my god. If I could afford to have like a dog trainer, um, I would have so many big dogs. Like I would have a pack of giant dogs. But holy fuck, they can be such a thing sometimes. Do you need to go outside, bud? Or are you just starting to wind down a little? Because it's time for you to relax so that we can do our meditation soon, bud. It's been a very mindful morning, hasn't it? What a nice day. What a nice day. Ah, off of his dick. No. Chonky boys, yes. My little chonks. And so get it. What is that? Do you want to bring it here and I'll put it on you? What is that? What is that? Oh, you're a derp. You didn't understand what I was saying at all. Not that. The thing that you were looking at. Um, if anyone wants to spoil Capone in his late years in life, please consider, consider sending extra large doggy sweatshirts and outfits for him because he loves them. Aw, oh, the tiniest human? Tiny baby. Hey, no. Enzo, no. No. We are gonna do our meditation. Good boy, in five minutes. Is there anyone here who has not meditated with us yet that would like me to walk you through how we meditate? Good boys. that he's got a little fuero. I'm glad that he laid down. We are all set for a nice meditation today, friends. And remember as we like kind of get closer to the end of stream, remember the intentions that you set for yourself today. You're very capable. You can make yourself into the person that you want to be today. You can make today into the type of day you deserve. Stay focused, stay present, be there for yourself. On your second cup of tea, I have uh, another cup of coffee waiting for me. I think that's what I was thinking of getting up for, now that I'm thinking of it. 
But if I get up, then I reset with this boy. <clears throat> mm. Mm. A horse dog? Aw, I had a boxer Great Dane mix once, and he was such a good boy. My Simonito. Any of you who have been a member of this community for a long time would remember Simon. Ugh, oh, what a good boy he was. Hi, Cookie Chris. You're just in time to meditate with us today. Hooray! You remembered to set your 15 minute timer today? I'm gonna be setting mine as soon as I set up this rebroadcast. Yeah, that's, that's this little baby, too. He's a pit bull, if you can't tell. starts whining over nothing we do that back to him and it gets him so upset and then he usually gives up it cracks me up oh silly freddy it's just my piggy a rough night i'm sorry to hear that but i'm glad you're ready to release it to let it go. Also, just a reminder, this guy, he, he can like sense my comfort. He does not like when I meditate, like no lie. When, when I'm tripping and I'm around him and I'm meditating and I'm around him, he doesn't like it when I start settling into my meditation and sort of disappearing, so to speak. He can tell that I'm not like, here focused on him and he gets upset. So for this meditation, you may want to set your own five minute timer along with me setting mine so that you can mute if that's going to be super distracting. Otherwise, it's just one more thing to challenge yourself not to open your eyes for. Okay, beautiful friends, let's, let's do it. Um, if you're watching this as a rebroadcast, which you can find out if you look up at the, or if you're on your PC at least, if you look at the title of the stream, stream and it says in brackets replay, then you're watching a broadcast, which would also explain why the chat that you're probably seeing over there doesn't match what's actually in chat. Um, <clears throat> so if you're watching this rebroadcast and you have not meditated with us yet today, or if you're watching right now and you're lurking and you haven't meditated with us and you're not sure how, I recorded a video on meditation, if you do exclamation point meditate or meditation, either way it'll bring you there. Or you can go to the Mind of Snaps YouTube channel, and I have the video on that channel. So I cannot recommend meditation enough. And my mind races too much, I'm too busy, no excuse. You have the time for this, and it helps you to stop your mind from racing. So my fellow ADHD brains, this is for you, for sure. So check that link out if you're not aware of how to do this. Um, but everyone else, I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer. So take a nice deep breath the way that Adrian instructs us. You know, imagine your torso expanding in all directions. Take a nice deep breath. 
And as we exhale and release it, I'm going to set the timer for five minutes, close my eyes, and we'll all meditate. And then at the end of it, when I tell you, okay, timer is over, you're going to take another nice deep breath. And as you release it, you are going to find something beautiful in your life to connect to that can bring a slight smile to your face. You are going to deliberately force a little pink, a little itty bitty bitty smile. You mean, I mean, you can go big with it, but at the very least, even if you're having a rough day, even if you don't feel great, bring a small smile to your face. Think about something that brings you joy. Think about something that you love. And yeah, we're gonna do that. So let's go ahead and start with that nice deep breath, everyone. And five minutes begins now.
Okay, my friends, take a nice deep breath again. And as you exhale, bring a smile to that beautiful face of yours. Think about something that brings you joy, something you're proud of yourself for, a happy memory, whatever it is, whatever it takes. And you, bring a smile to your puppy face. Oh, good, ninjas, good. I enjoyed it too. I think today is going to be a day where I meditate a lot. Feeling good about it. I'm glad you made it in time to do it with us today, ninjas. Yeah, I know you have a very hard life, little guy. Very hard. You were just getting into it, could have done longer. Well, you still have the rest of today. I'm probably gonna do a nice half an hour one very soon. Yay, ninjas! Really, Winter's Wolf? Oh, that's wonderful. That's really special. Just a little, little kindness moment. Mm-hmm. I'm with you, ninjas. Same Z's. Cookie Crisp, how you feeling, girl? You're usually waiting for the timer? Ooh, that's a great sign, Momo. Yay! What, do you do you do any meditations longer than five minutes on your own? That's a great sign. That's wonderful. Yeah, he's finally chilling. He needs physical contact or else he loses his little puppy mind. <laughs> 